Hello, this is Eric. I'm here to show you a little project I've been working on for a class I've been in. So, I had an old gaming chair that I didn't use and it had a couple broken parts, so I salvaged some pieces out of it. And I also had an old blue, uh, Motorola S9 Bluetooth headset that one of the speakers for the earphones broke off. So I decided to combine parts from the two and make my own Bluetooth speaker. So, the main component that this all centralizes around is this little amplifier here, which is a TDA 2005R. You can see that there. That came out of the gaming chair, as did the heat sink that I have attached to it. Also, another thing, the some other components that came out of the chair are these two speakers here. Let's see, these are. Four ohm, three watt speakers. So I have two of those here. And over here, I have the Bluetooth headset, the main board from it, along with the cables or the wires for all the components. This is just a prototype for me for now so bear with me on the extra long wires. So it took a little bit of work and quite a bit of research since I am fairly new at this kind of thing so uh, this chip here runs on up to 18 volts and the power supply I used is right here. This has an output of 12 volts, 2.67 amps. So I set it up with a jack here going to this little toggle switch for power. So, let's get to the demo. Well, actually, over here I have the connections from where the speakers used to be on both sides. So, let's get to the demo. Let me first open up a music app on my phone after I unlock it. There we go. 
Make sure Bluetooth is turned on. Good. Okay, so that is now on. And it has connected to the phone. Now, one of the issues I have been having with this, I believe it's because of a ground loop, is this noise when I turn on the speakers. But when I push play, it goes away. But there's still a little bit of static that you can hear when I push pause. But it mostly comes out of the left speaker here. See, over here, it's minimal. Over here, you hear it a lot more. Turn the volume up. Now, another issue I have been having with this is with the left speaker, and I disconnect the right speaker, the left speaker has only music and no voice, which is strange. This one. Now if I plug this back in, Vocals are almost not existent. Now I follow the schematic to the letter, except one thing, well, two things really, but so the first is after I turn this off. Right here, these resistors, it's actually supposed to be a 140, or 120 rather, sorry. But I didn't have one, so I used 240, two 240s in parallel. Uh, the other was this one here. It was supposed to be... up let's see excuse the delay here so it was supposed to be if you can see this a 3.3 .3 ohm resistor but I did not have any of those either. So I substituted there for the nearest value. But other than that, 
I followed the schematics to the letter and the setup for the right side is exactly the same as the left side except the orientation of it may be changed a little bit so if anyone has any suggestions on fixing any of these issues whether it be the hum or static I have here or even this static coming out of the left side or the music or low vocal on the left side. If anyone has any suggestions on how to fix any of that, please leave your suggestions in the comments below and I will greatly appreciate it. Um, so that will be it. Thank you for watching.